Ah, uh, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. Uh, I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What does a priest know about trafficking? A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. A word of advice, friend. There is one thing you should never, ever do if Cassandra asks. Poker. <laughs> Don't ever play in poker. She will leave you with your zozo in your hands and not enough for cab fare. <laughs> Take my word for it. That boat has everything we need on it. Get the weed back here safely and we stand to make a tidy profit. How you drive it, man? This place up right thanks to you. Thank God it's clearing up. Yeah. 
Hey there, Frey. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting word those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our dwarps. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. I'm getting in touch with your artistic side. My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the tonton I could bludgeon my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Frey, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Moss. But the bloody eye get the quicker that picture fades. But that's not the important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. A large shipment of marijuana is at this dock. Get it and bring it back. Not worth as much money, but we can sell everything you bring back. Medal of Honor recipient Major General Keith Ware was killed yesterday in a helicopter crash in the Binh Long province of Vietnam. Also lost were three of his staff and the helicopter's crew. An army spokesman said the bodies of all eight casualties were recovered.
All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Uh, look at who decided to stop by. Thought you forgot about me. Running weed takes time. That it does, Fred. Can't imagine what it must have been like running people. How many folks you think you got out of Haiti? I only remember those I could not save. Bullshit. When I was in country, once in a while we get a chance to evacuate a village before the napalm dropped. Wasn't an SOP, but we still did it. Had a couple close calls when the bombers showed up early. But I remember every single face. So how many were there? 43. Should have been more, but some folks didn't trust us. Thought we were gonna march them into a shallow grave. Still remember the fear in their eyes. Nothing motivates quite as well as fear. Not a damn thing. So how would it? What was your count? 226. Goddamn. One boat every night, but 10 months. Mostly women and children. The men were either enlisted or disappeared. We had more refugees than we knew what to do with. They didn't always survive the trip, but dying on the bateau running from Papa Doc was better than the alternative. Dodging Dixie Cox took a sound like Christmas morning by comparison. If you would have told me 15 years ago that all this would happen, I would have called you crazy. I believe I'd die an old man with my family all around me. Yeah. Not in this life, anyway. No. Not in this life. Keep winging in the marijuana, Fred. This is our life now. Go to this warehouse. Inside, there's a large stash of our weed. Kill the assholes guarding it and then bring it back. <laughs> 